And that makes it great. <clears throat> and, and you and I are, are doing some programs, which will mm -hmm. appear later, yes. uh, on the Book of Mysteries. <clears throat> but you know, you've hit upon something with the leading of the Lord, I do believe. Because as I've said so often, everybody loves a mystery. Uh, and there's, there's something about that that pulls you along. And if your message is the Gospel, that's a good place mm -hmm, to be pulled mm -hmm, toward. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, the, the whole, our God is the God of revelation. He reveals himself. That's what yeah. he, the whole Bible is revelation. He's revealing himself. And so what is it, be, before it's revealed, it's a mystery. So there, what, this, what this is saying is there's no end to the revelation of God. There's no end, no matter, no matter how long you might be a pastor, you may be a bishop, it doesn't, there, we don't know the half. If Paul himself could say that I might know him, and this is the guy who wrote m much of the books of the Bible, yeah. and he says that I might, if Paul could say that, then we have to have that same heart. Lord, there's more for us to see. Oh, yeah. I have never, you know, I always think, Lord, is that it? How can there be more? And there's no ending. There's no exhaustion of it. Lord, you open the Bible, there's new things. You know, So the book of mysteries is opening up things, many things that, that as far as we know have not been anywhere, and many things people are seeing for the first time, and uh, I think, you know, it's to revive, you know, revive your walk, revive your, and and strengthen you in the Lord, but also to be blown away by the wonders of God. Now we live in a very strange time in, in modern America, and yes. and in the world, tensions are developing, yeah. uh, and people are saying, "What in the world is going to happen?" <laughs> yes, uh, yes. And the Bible speaks of the age of apostasy. Yes. And you have a special insight into that word. I want you to share. Yeah. Uh, uh, the sure. mystery of the apostasy. Yeah. One one of the one of the hundreds of mysteries is called that. Is about the apostasy. Well, we all think when everybody is listening, who knows? They think of apostasy. They think, okay, it means falling away, getting away from the faith. That's apostasy. You right. it, Well, yes. It says in the end times there will be a great falling away, absolutely of the faith. But it means more than that. The actual Greek word apostasia literally means to depart from the state of being, the state of being. So what does that mean? It means that in the last days when you see people getting away from the word and you know going against God, they will also start departing from the state of being. What? Men will, you will see men departing from the state of manhood. You will see women departing from the state of womanhood. You'll see marriage departing from the state of marriage. Families from the state of family. Man from humanity. Children even being less childlike. You see you, all these things. You will, see, you will see this happen. We are seeing it happen every day. It's in the news every day. It's, in the, it's on the web every day. You know, the destruction of gender, the destruction of marriage. It's every day and it's all there. Hit it. One, one Greek word in the Bible is worth more than that. It's telling you what's happening. It's the unveiling of a mystery. It's the unveiling. And I'm looking at the table of contents in your book. It has 365 mysteries. And I'm looking at them right now. There's no way we have time <laughs> to talk about 365 my mysteries. But uh, uh, we have here, for example, uh, Sholem Aleichem. It's a mystery. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good Jewish uh, term. Yes. And, and yes. you've got a lot to say about it. Yeah. And just to, just to say this, I won't do anything, but I just say this. We all think, we all think, well, Jesus said to the, he rose from the dead and he said, he spoke King James, of course, peace be unto thee. He never <laughs> said peace be unto thee. He said, shalom alechem. We know exactly ah. what he said. And that means a lot more than peace be unto thee. <laughs> there's a lot more there. So there's a mystery there. There is a mystery there. And this is one of the 365 mysteries in your book. Yeah. Uh, should we give it away now? Up to you, or you could just give, give just just wet them, wet, wet, you know, wet the appetite with more, whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. But, but the mystery of that greeting, and, and this is what I mean about it's this more. book. Uh, <clears throat> imagine 365 of those exciting little adventures into yeah. language, into history, yeah. custom, yeah. and they all reveal uh, yeah. something about the character of God. Yeah, the character of God, the hand of God in history, the working of God, the 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 you know, entering into God's presence, and how to live, and also like for instance. We talked, when we did the program, yeah. we talked about things from mysteries in the Hebrew and the Greek that you would never see in English, you never think about. But there's even things, not just the words, even the tenses, even the way it's constructed, like from that you get a whole mystery that, for instance, in, according to the Hebrew, you can live in the future now, or from the future now. Mm. You can live in the Hebrew, you can change your past. In, in Isaiah 53, you wouldn't realize this. Even if you read, you would, Isaiah 53 is written in not in the past, present tense, future tense and past tense all at once because it's an eternal event. But you would never see that. You know, it's, it's eternal. There's so much there. You know, we spoke about the mystery of Barabbas, the name Barabbas. Incredible beautiful mystery that you could never imagine you know, with that. But there, there's so much. Yeah, share that because yeah. when we have time, okay. uh, this is an example okay. of, of, the, of the way 
uh, his mind works. Jonathan, you, you just have a, a wonderful uh, way of pulling things open and, well, and by exposing God's grace. them. And, by so God's the grace. mystery of Barabbas. The, the highest day of the year, Yom Kippur, high priest stands in front of the multitude. He has two goats, one goat on his right, one on his left. He has an urn with a lot in there. He shakes it, puts one stone on one, one says scapegoat, one says sacrifice. One's going to escape, one's going one's to go to be killed. Okay, so that's how, you have the, that's how the atonement comes. It's in front of the multitude. Messiah, before he was offered up, before he died, what happened? Not two goats, but two men. Two men in front of a multitude. They are there to be chosen. One is to be the one who escapes, one is to be the one who dies as a sacrifice. So who, who escapes? Barabbas escapes. Who dies? Messiah dies. But there's a mystery in the ancient writings of the rabbis that those two goats had to look identical so you could not t- tell them apart. They had to be identical. Well, did, what does that mean? Could it mean that Messiah and Barabbas actually looked alike? Perhaps. But here's the thing. Messiah, you think, well, they're not the same at all. You have the, you have the son of the father, the holy one, and you have Barabbas the criminal. Son of the father. Messiah is the son of the father. Barabbas, we heard it our whole lives. It's a mystery there. It's not, his real name wasn't Barabbas. His real name was the Hebrew Bar Abba. What does it mean? The son of the father. So here you have the son of the father and you have the son of the father, the identical son of the father. Messiah dies as as the sacrifice. He dies the death of the criminal Barabbas. And by the way, we're Barabbas. We're Barabbas. But Barabbas, that Barabbas could live the life of the son of God. That we could live the life of the son of the father. Now that's a mystery. Yes. And and when you open the mystery up, suddenly you have revelation. Yeah, you yeah you were saying. I mean, we were talking. About, what's it's the whole thing? It's there's a whole mystery there that you know Jesus died w- with a sacrifice. You had to become one with it. The sacrifice yeah. becomes one with you. So the mystery is he became totally one with us and everything that we could be to- we could live totally one with him for victory and holiness and purity. It's awesome. Jonathan has produced a dozen DVDs, each one of which is roughly an hour long, a a bit longer or shorter, but beautifully produced. And each of these contains a mystery. Uh, I'll just take this this one right here, the mystery of the rains, the Yoma mysteries, mystery of the leper king. And you say, I have no idea what those (laughs) are talking about. Well, of course you don't. You haven't watched the DVD yet. But they are amazing at the way you unfold these Thank mysteries. You. Each time you do it, with the effect is the aha, aha effect. Aha, yeah. so that's what he's talking about. Yeah. And it reveals something about the character and nature of God. Yeah, there, there's, a, there's a Hebrew word for that, you know, and the word is hine. Or, you know, we get the word hine. Hine throughout the Bible, and generally they don't translate it in the new one, because the, the old one they'd say, behold. Hine means aha. Means uh, he yeah. means wow. He name means whoa. That's what it means. And we should all our walk should always be. We can never lose that wow or that whoa because that's who God is. God well, is. I can honestly say that you have translated that wow into the pages of the Book of Mysteries. Oh, God's uh, grace! Uh, seriously, God's it, grace. It, it really affected me that way. Uh, thank, uh, that's awesome to hear that. I, I was every night. I said, Lord, to do this because it's more than twice as big as the Harbinger with seven, and it's concentrated. There's so much there yeah. that I, I said, Lord, you got to give me four mysteries before I go to bed tonight. And it was usually <laughs> I started at midnight and went yeah. to bed at six. Every night He gave that, and every every night, you know, and some things I never that just came then. But so I take that as the Lord. You know, there's just just no end. Lord, speak. You know, if you seek Him, you're going to find things you never knew. I'd like to ask you to do something in the remaining uh, two minutes uh, plus, uh, a few seconds. Uh, speak about uh, what's happening today with with modern Israel, uh, yeah. uh, about the Jews, yeah. uh, about the, uh, prophetic events in in the nation of Israel going into this year, 2017. Uh, what are what are you looking well, at? Well, well, one thing is we had well several things. First of all, interesting, we're going on the 70th an- anniversary of the nation of Israel. 70 yeah. is always important in the Bible. I mean, God does not have to do anything, but you know, but he, but be aware. We're also going to the 50 in the Gregorian calendar. It's kind of a jubilee. It's the 50th of Jerusalem is coming up, 2017. Um, the there are there are there are, are these patterns of 50 years with Israel, mm-hmm. um, but also at the same time, America and Israel have had their worst relationship under Obama. It's not a secret. It was the worst ever, and it, and it ended. We're saying it ended. Hopefully, nothing more ended when America abandoned Israel to the United Nations. Well, you know, we pray that we have now we have a new administration. We pray that that will be undone. And we, Netanyahu and Trump are actually friends. You know. So we, we see these things happening. And we see the, still the issue of Jerusalem. We just had 70 nations, 70. And by the way, rabbis talk about 70 nations. 
gathered in Paris to basically tell Israel that they're going to have to give up Jerusalem, basically. You know. So the, the issue of God said in the last days, Jerusalem will be the, the issue, will be the center of controversy. It still is because that's where he's coming. So we're, we're, God is keeping everything in focus and everything in the spotlight. I believe God is giving a window right now for, for believers, a window of what it could have been and that we have to make the most of this window and, and if my people who are called by my name. It's not going to be government that saves us, it's revival that's going to do it. We need to pray, we need to work. We've got a window right now. Work while it is yet day, for the night comes when no man can work. Well, Jonathan Kant, may the Lord bless your footsteps. Thank and, you. And such a pleasure to read your book. Uh, it's called The Book of Mysteries, Jonathan Kahn. We carry it. Check our online bookstore, prophecywatchers.com, the online bookstore. Just scroll down to Jonathan Kahn, you'll find it right there. And uh, again, Godspeed. Thank you. And it's been so, so pleasurable to speak with you today. My pleasure.